Hello and welcome return to the Westchester Real Estate Values Channel. I'm John and today's vlog will be covering the Homeowner's Guide to Dwelling Coverage. To begin with, dwelling coverage, also called dwelling insurance, is part of every standard homeowner's insurance policy. Dwelling coverage concerns the physical structure of your home and can help you recoup financially if it's damaged. While most homeowners insurance policies include dwelling coverage, it can be confusing to determine what sort of damaging events are covered. Here is a quick reference guide to what type of covered peril or hazards. To begin with, natural hazards. Dwelling coverage is used to help pay for damage sustained from natural disasters or hazards. If the structure of your home is damaged by fire, smoke, windstorms, lightning strikes, hail, snow, sleet, or ice, you may be entitled to compensation to cover those costs. However, it's important to note that not all natural hazards are covered by homeowners policy. For example, windstorms do not include tornadoes. If you live in a region where tornadoes, tornadoes are common, you will need to purchase an additional tornado insurance policy separately. For areas prone to earthquakes or flooding, you will also need to get additional supplementary coverage for those specific hazards. Consulting an insurance agent in your area will help you determine what insurance coverage is best for your situation. It's also critical to remember that dwelling coverage only counts for the physical structure. This means it won't cover the cost to replace carpeting, hardwood floors damaged by smoke from a fire. Typically, interior elements like flooring are covered under another portion of your homeowner's insurance policy. Let's talk about other hazards. Dwelling insurance project, protects you from hazards beyond weather-related events that damage the home. Vandalism, theft, covered under this part of the policy. Other hazards include coverage falling objects, damage from motor vehicles, and damage from aircraft. If any of these issues should cause personal damage to your property, your insurance will pay for repairs. Dwelling coverage and other specific policies can make an enormous difference in your recovery from the unlikely event of covered disaster. Knowing exactly what dwelling insurance covers, you can have more peace of mind knowing your provider will help you recoup your losses. On one more interesting note, if your house is vacant uh, for more than, I think it's 30 or 60 days, depending on what area you live in, and it's uninhabited because you're sailing around the world or whatever the case might be, your home insurance coverage becomes even more restricted. Sometimes it does not cover broken water pipes or trees falling uh, into the roof. So that's the particulars you must check on when you apply for new insurance. Thank you for visiting. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or ideas, please leave them down below in the comment box. And I read all of them, comment, respond, and we'll address them uh, as soon as possible. Thank you for visiting. I look forward to see you very soon. Bye now.